Hey guys, Daniel Wasing from TNG Real Estate, and it's the end of 2020, and many of you are thinking, thank God, because it has been so difficult this last year. I hope you and your family have been doing okay. Well, listen, in regards to the real estate market, heading into COVID, uh, we already had inventory was already at a historical low. Then we see COVID suppressing it, and now we're in the holidays, and we see, you know, typically holiday season, not a lot of houses are on the market. But we have seen the real estate market take off this last year. Historically, the appreciation is around a 3.8%. Right now, according to FHFA, it's at 7.8%, and CoreLogic says 7.3% of appreciation. So if you were at a 65 mile per hour uh, driving uh, speed limit, we're going 90 miles per hour right now. And is that gonna be healthy for our market? Well, sellers are pretty happy right now. Buyers are still happy because interest rates, as you know, are at a historical low. Well, this last year, it's dropped below uh, 3% and it's been at a historical low 12 different times. So it is, buyers are out there, they're looking for your home, and they're thinking they would like to purchase, but there's not enough inventory. So that's driving up the price. So we have to ask our question, are prices headed towards a bubble territory? Maybe something like uh, 2006. Well, this is what Lawrence Yoon said, the chief economist at NARD. Such a frenzy of activity is reminiscent of 2006. It does raise the question about a bubble and the potential for a painful crash and maybe in 2021. The answer, there's no comparison. Back in 2006, dubious adjustable rate mortgages taxed many buyer budgets. Some loans didn't even require income documentation. Today, buyers are taking out 30-year fixed uh, rate mortgages. 14 years ago, there was a 3.8 million homes listed on the market and builders were putting out about 2 million new units. Now, uh, inventory is only at 1.5 million today, and home builders are underproducing, the, uh, underproducing relative um, to historical averages. And but so we have to see. Wow. Okay. So it's nothing like 2006, but what's going to make it a more normal market? Because uh, we don't want to get it to a place where buyers are like priced out of their homes, where they can't even purchase a home, even though rates are so good. We have to think. Well prices cannot keep accelerating like this. We need it to be back more around a 3.8 or 4% for everybody's sake. Well, in 2021, I'm thinking that's probably going to happen. I'm thinking rates are going to go up. Not They're still going to be great, but it's going to be about 3.5% mm, maybe by the end of next year, which is still great. And, um, you know, I think more houses are going to come on the market for the springtime and, uh, you know, Sounds like we're going to get a vaccine and things like that. So, you know, I think that's going to all help in regards to stabilizing the market and not seeing a bubble or a crash. Hey, listen, I am your local realtor, Daniel Wasik. My number is 714-296-1495. Or you can reach me at homeofmemories at gmail.com. God bless you.